What's up everybody, welcome back to some Dead Man's Hand here. Today we're going to take a quick look at the State Police Faction as far as the models go. Um, check out our series of faction reviews where we've covered them and basically everything else in the game for a detailed breakdown of how the faction plays and some of the cool features it has. But today we'll be getting this open for you guys. As always, given that it's a skirmish game and um, you know your army box, basically faction box, is pretty small. It's almost like a small paperback basically as far as size goes. So. But we'll be getting this open and showing you guys everything inside, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, guys, we got the state police opened up here. So here's what you get inside, or usually would expect inside. So now, interestingly, um, all the other boxes we opened so far, they've had MDF bases, but here they threw in some plastic ones. So pretty cool change. Um, they gave us two of the actual like faction cards. So really, um, I think that's probably just a packing mistake. Really, really only needs to be one. But we have their abilities. So again. Um, the first one here, I've kept company. Um, any character having to take a nerve test or big nerve test that has a member of the state police gang within 10 centimeters suffers a further minus one penalty just because of their intimidating presence. So actually pretty cool. And then the last one, I will civilize this land, sort of a counterpart to the Kelly gang. Basically, as long as the captain is alive, uh, the gang never has to take a big nerve test. So if you can keep the captain alive, uh, until the bitter end, if things are going bad for you, you won't be taking any nerve tests, so they'll, they'll have to actually just take you out entirely. Now, model-wise, again, everything's basically a one-piece model in the game here, so we get a good variety of different officers here. A couple guys with pistols, definitely look like some grizzled vets here. So, a little bit of cleanup, of course, is warranted. None of these do come out exactly perfect, so a little bit of flash here and there. But these guys all look like they are just ready for business. Bald pistol guy here. Now the last one, just unfortunate here. Sorry for the shake. Um, and I think it's just down to the way that things are packaged a lot. Let me see if we can get this into focus for you guys. Um, it's just annoying. Usually some one or two figures in a box will just have their barrels completely bent. As you can see in this one, it's kind of catastrophically so. So we're going to have to just be extremely, extremely careful with this guy going forward. But, and again, sorry for the shake here. We're just trying to get this in focus for you guys. But when it bends, it essentially puts this giant nick in the barrel. And that's really not fixable. Um, as is. We're going to try and throw a little green stuff in there and just hope that it kind of sets and kind of prevents further issues from that, but it is annoying. i um, not sure how they would how they could fix that as far as packaging goes because they kind of just throw in a little bubble wrap baggie, but um, yeah, something for these um, long barrel guys, but every, every once in a while it happens on a pistol as well. And then last but not least, the big boy here, the boss, the captain, Ready to hunt down the Kelly gang or any other outlaws. So it should be a fun faction to paint up. Color-wise, a really simple scheme. A lot of it's just black, black on black with um, a little bit of skin and some like tan shirts, basically. It's super fast to paint. Um, so we'll be working on these guys. We still got the mountain men in the queue as well, and then actually the bush rangers just around at all the Aussie factions there. So plenty more coming here, painting wise and in the pipeline. And then now that we have a good uh, selection of just brand new factions that we have uh, worked on recently, we'll be bringing you guys some reports with all new factions versus all new factions for us, and then just more and more uh, bell reports and other content for you guys. Still working on a whole bunch of terrain as well. And then ideally getting that terrain painted just to make those battles look even sharper for you guys. So hit us up in the comments. Let us know if you have played the state police, your thoughts on the faction and how you um, go about list building with them. Um, so drop us a comment there, or if you've run up against them, how have you fared? Again, just hit us up in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear your stories. And if you haven't played Dead Man's Hand yet, there's now a couple of Wild West games out there, um, but really, uh, to me, this is the OG. Um, I'm not sure if anything had come before this. I'm sure at some point there's been all kinds of rule sets, but for me, this is the one to be playing. It's been around for a fair bit of time. There's honestly something like 20 different factions you can play, and they're all really fun, super easy to get into, very low cost, and um, 
you uh, don't necessarily have to buy the minis from them. There are, again, other manufacturers out there for 28 mil Wild West stuff, but you would ideally want to get like the, the little faction cards do help just to have in person. But beyond that, just to round out some of the extra crew, you can certainly check out some of the other manufacturers out there, but really Dead Man's Hand to me is is the game So uh, for Wild West. So but let us know your thoughts, guys, on any of the others out there or just Dead Man's Hand in general or anything else you want to see from us as far as that game goes. Again, we've now got a couple battle reports for you. We've um, reviewed all the main factions, uh, we're really not going to spend time covering the like the um, like the undead faction and stuff like that. That's just not part of the the main game for me. So, but really, we've done that, and uh, beyond that, like I said, we just need to get some more battle reports and other stuff for you guys. But hit us up and let us know what else you would like to see. Um, we'll probably work on a, a short series of demonstrating the game. I think is probably a good next direction there too. But anyway, let us know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one.